blockbuster movie Oppenheimer has brought a lot of attention to New Mexico. After Oppenheimer left Los Alamos, he would head to Princeton to be the director of the Institute for Advanced Study. It's where he would help bring together intellectuals, including a local physicist who now lives in Corrales. I recently sat down with him. It was 1966. Jacob Korean was 25 years old and had just finished his Ph.D. in physics when he crossed paths with Robert Oppenheimer. It's something that I wrote in my application appealed to him, obviously and I got selected. Korean was one of two people that year Oppenheimer selected for a two-year membership at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. So it's really, think of it as an institution with no students, but dedicated to just totally free thinking. And it's very rare to find a place like that. And they really produce some of the finest mathematicians and physicists in the world. It was at one time Einstein's home. Oppenheimer's office was above Koreans. But most of the time he was in his office, which was right above my office. And so one day I decided that, you know, I might as well go and say hello to him. Korean remembers being intimidated and curious the first time he met Oppenheimer. He opened the door and let me in, guided me to the chair, pulled the chair out for me to sit on it, and then he went and sat on his own. I mean, just the kindness of the man. Oppenheimer was battling cancer at the time and would die the following year. So when he came to the U.S., he was virtually the only person who knew quantum physics. And he coached and trained and taught and managed all the initial group of physicists who worked in quantum physics. So by the time he got selected for Los Alamos, he already had a track record of managing these people and their futures. Korean, now in his 80s, jokes, it's tough to top starting out your career with the most powerful physicist in the world. So it was quite an honor to, you know, to be part of that just as soon as I finished my PhD. And I always tell people that it has been downhill ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Korean would go on to become a physics and meteorology professor at UCLA. He came to New Mexico in the 90s to start a software company.